What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And it is springtime. We are gonna to talk to you guys today about some of our favorite, our most specific ways to track down bass in springtime. You know guys, we've already talked to you about where bass go in the spring. We've already shown you the moves that they make out of the main lake into the pockets to ultimately spawn. But we did not talk about the specific baits, our favorite baits, for quickly locating and targeting and catching those fish. So we're gonna run you through our, our specific choices, my favorites, Tim's favorites, for when you're looking for those fish, running those key features, trying to locate the fish as they transition to the spawn, the baits that we use to get that done. The first one for me is a jerk bait. Hands down, that is my number one springtime bait to cover water. We've already done jerk bait videos. We've already explained 10 different times why it's such a powerful bait, how it causes fish to react, to lash out. But this is prime time. Springtime is prime time to cover water with that jerk bait. You can fish it incredibly fast. And then when you get that first bite, you can really slow down and slow fish it. I like a bait with a little bit of flash to it. Of course, I throw ghost colors, I throw bold colors, but if I can only have one, it's going to be something like that Aurora Black, something with a little bit of shine, but still a natural color so that I can get the best of both worlds between that clean water. And as you move into pockets in the springtime, a lot of times it's getting murkier with that incoming water. So I have one bait that I can go from clean main lake water all the way up into that pocket without any transition while I'm quickly searching for those fish and trying to get a reaction. Yeah, my go-to bait for those same circumstances is gonna be a uh, small glide bait. You guys have heard us talk about the 168 for years. My absolute favorite is a light trout. It doesn't look like a trout. It doesn't look like anything. It's just a good <laughs> fish catching color. They just eat it. But for the same reasons, you're looking for these fish, either pre-spawn, post-spawn, just springtime, right? You're trying to figure out where these schools are at. The drawing power of a glide bait is like nothing else, really. Right. Um, and you can slow down. You know, Matt, he's fishing the rip bait fast. You can crank this fast. You can slow down, you can twitch, you can make it reactive just like the rip bait. But for me, the glide bait seems to have more drawing power. And even if they don't eat the bait, they tell you where they're at. You know, the other nice thing about that is if you're fishing with a partner, setting one guy up with a rip bait and then the follow up guy right. with a glide bait, because the glide bait, like he said, that drawing power pulls fish from so far, you come through with a rip bait and you can get fast reaction bites out of little fish, out of big fish, but you follow that up with a glide and those fish that never even showed themselves on the rip bait will rise up. Whether they bite or not, they show up and now you know where your fish are at and you can begin to target them. And you guys that uh, don't throw swim baits or think that this bait is giant, this bait is like a six inch bait. It's not much bigger than that rip bait at all. Right. So if you guys haven't went out and tried a small glide bait or a, a small swim bait, give it a try. You guys would be surprised. Two pounders, one pounders will eat this. 10 pounders, 12 pounders will eat this, right? Now, as the fish are making the transition to pockets, because ultimately springtime is all about a bass transitioning from cold winter haunts up into the shallows to feed and ultimately to spawn. And then that process begins to reverse. So regardless of where you're at, whether you're coming out of ice out and you're just starting that process, or you're a guy where your fish are already up, spawning, half of them are already done, half of them are still coming in, this stuff applies. My second bait is going to be a square bill. And specifically, again, if I only had one, it's going to be a craw, a red square bill. Brighter the red, the better. If you're throwing Lucky Craft, something like Spring Craw. If you're throwing River to Sea, this is a biggie. I honestly don't remember the name of this color, but I have a ton of them. That's a Tackle Warehouse exclusive, I believe. Anyways, we'll link to all that we'll stuff. We'll link down to the below. exact colors. But that craw square bill you can fish it so hard, so aggressive, almost like a jerk bait where you burn and pause next to cover. Burn, 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 pause. Burn, 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 pause. This bait's got a loud rattle in it. If you've got that murky water, it'll still pull those fish up to it. If you've got clean water, there is just something about that red craw color in the springtime that just gets that core angry reaction out of a fish. If I could only have one, 
that's where I'm going. And that will work all the way into the dead backs of the pockets right as the fish transition into the spawn. Yeah, the keys to all these baits is, is moving quickly. You wanna be covering water. You gotta figure out where these fish are going. So that's why we've picked all reaction baits. Um, I guess we'll talk about finesse in a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. my next one is gonna be the A-Rig. You know, chuck in wine, chuck in wine, just cover water and the fish are gonna show themselves to you. We've done a lot of A-Rig videos in the past. I think Matt just shot one completely in depth, how to rig them, everything, blades, when not to throw blades. But uh, an A-Rig, you get on the bank and you just put that trolling motor on I don't know, seven or eight, almost high, and just cover water and burn bank, and you will find That'll those schools of fish on the A-Rig. Again, guys, this is all about finding those fish as fast as possible, because most guys don't have seven days a week to be on the water. You already watched YouTube videos. You know the idea. You know where the fish should be. Now you've got your one day to get out there. You don't want to spend three quarters of it trying to get the first bite. So these are those baits where you can run the patterns very, very quickly. When you get that first bite, you wonder, you know, is this a fluke? Is this not a fluke? But when you get that second bite, it's go time. You're on a pattern and you can replicate it. Now, if you go to replicate it and it doesn't work, go back to that first school and it's time to slow down. Or if you have these conditions, it was nice. It was <laughs> sunny, 75 degrees. All of a sudden you've got a storm front rolling in. It's time to slow down. And the two ways that we'll do that, because again, this is about getting on fish and catching them fast. The two things that I'll turn to is either the drop shot or a shaky head, either one. And it's either going to be a little tiny finesse worm or a small creature bait. Those are my two confidence baits to slow down in the spring. Now, granted, when we're talking about fishing fast, you could be catching these fish on a chatter bait, a spinner bait, a lipless crankbait. There are all sorts of different things that you could be throwing. And when we're talking about slow fishing, you could be throwing a tube, a Ned rig, a lizard. I mean, there's so many different baits. But what we're talking about today is the literally the specific baits that we throw. This is what we turn to. We turn to a creature bait. When we're on that pattern and it starts shutting down for whatever reason, either we thought we were on a pattern and we can't replicate it, but we have a school, or conditions like this are rolling in on top of us, it's all falling apart, those fish are shutting down. We go to either that little creature bait on that shaky head, try and get those fish going. If that doesn't work, then we go to that little finesse worm on the drop shot and you fish that through them. Those are the baits that we turn to with confidence because again, this is about getting on fish, maximizing your time on the water. Yeah, and the, the key to the drop shot and the shaky head is it's a little bit heavier than a weightless worm, so you can still fish it aggressively. You can still cover quite a bit of wa water. It just falls faster so you, you can cover more water and try and find those fish, right? It's just a perfect one-two punch. When that reaction is going, you run that. But if you can't replicate it or if it stops, transition to that slow stuff. But these are the fastest way to slow fish effectively. Guys, this should help you this spring. We want you out there catching fish, having a blast. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications when you, so you know when new videos are coming and we'll talk to you soon. We appreciate it guys, have a good day.